welcome back everyone so these days majority of the people are upgrading from windows 10 to windows 11 on unsupported hardware now if you look over the stat here from the stat counter so as of today around 66.1 percent people are using windows 10 and 29.71 percent people are be using windows 11 now the last time when i checked this stat was about four to five days back and then the windows 10 user were around 68 percent and the windows 11 user were around 27 percent so that indicate that the number of the windows 11 users are growing day by day the people are really switching to windows 11 but the question is that majority of the people have in their mind before switching to windows 11 on unsupported hardware that is it really fine to upgrade to windows 11 on a unsupported hardware what kind of advantages they will have and what kind of disadvantages they can have so that basically what i will try to cover in this video so make sure that you do not skip any part if you are also planning to upgrade to windows 11 then you must keep all this point in your mind so without any delay let's quickly get started Now you might be aware that for windows 11 the requirement are that you must have cpu of 1 gigahertz or faster than that with two or more core on a compatible 64-bit processor or system on a chip with minimum of 4 gigabyte of ram and should support the tpm and the secure boot in order to enjoy the windows 11 for the better security so if your pc or laptop doesn't meet this kind of requirement then you will be getting an error that this pc can't run windows 11 and then people switch to another topic that how to basically upgrade to windows 11 bypassing the tpm and the secure boot check so i'm very sure that many of you might be having a question that why basically they have these kind of requirement and why the old user are not able to enjoy windows 11 now as far as i think that is totally fine because the kind of security and the feature microsoft is providing in the windows 11 they need an upgraded hardware and it will not be working on the old hardware so with this point of view i believe that you also agree in order to better understand this just take some kind of scenarios so now if you have a pc or a laptop that is not that kind of old like with 8 or 16 gigabyte of ram with the ssd and with the sixth generation of processor so in such cases you can upgrade to windows 11 because you will be getting the better performance but probably you may not get the proper secure boot and the tpm security if your tpm version is below 2.0 rest your pc will be working good and even all the other security will work properly without any kind of problem but one thing that you need to keep in mind that there are some news i'm not sure whether it's true or not that microsoft may deactivate windows 11 on the unsupported devices and if this happen you may lose all of your data so better create a habit of taking the data backup in case if this rumor come true and microsoft deactivate windows 11 on unsupported hardware so very simple if you are on a good hardware that doesn't support the windows 11 requirement but still you feel that you have the good uh, configuration then you can of course upgrade to windows 11 because you will be getting the better performance and you would be able to enjoy all kind of features and security of windows 11 except tpm and the secure boot that might not work properly but the only recommendation that i would give you at this period of time that try to have the backup very frequently so that you should not lose any of your data now let's come to the another scenario so if you have an old device or a device with a low configuration like 4 gigabyte of ram with the hard disk and processor below the sixth generation and using windows 10 then i would recommend you to stick with windows 10 only as it doesn't make any sense to upgrade to a uh, windows 11 because you will not be getting that kind of performance even you will not be able to enjoy the secure boot and the tpm security and even no guarantee of your data inside your device so for the old devices or the low end configuration laptop and pc i highly recommend that you stick with windows 10 as the support is still running till october 2025 and even you can extend that security for another five years with a zero patch for which i have already created a video if you want to check that then you can check that video so that is basically my recommendation and that what i observed while using windows 11 on a old device or a very a low configuration device 
Now that's what I believe guys that majority of the people that who want to switch to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware they are probably using an old device or a device with a low configuration. So I give you basically three different options that you can try. Number one, you can either upgrade your hardware like you can upgrade from 4 gigabyte RAM to 8 gigabyte of RAM. You can upgrade from hard disk to SSD and even you can upgrade your processor depending that if your motherboard support it. So this is the first option that you can try. Number two, if you still want to enjoy Windows 11, then you can go with any kind of custom ISO like Windows X Lite or the Atlas OS. They are really optimized and give you the good performance even on a low end PC. And if you're not comfortable with the custom ISO, then you can create your own custom ISO of Windows 11. And for that also, I have created a video that will be giving you a better performance even on the low end PC. And number three, you can stick with Windows 7 or Windows 10, whichever you are using on your old device. Because as I said, you will not be getting any kind of performance. You will be having a lot of lagging issues if you use the Windows 11 on a low end device. Now, part of this, I have seen few people recommending such user to switch to another operating system like Linux and the Chrome operating system. So, of course, you can switch to Linux or the Chrome. But switching to any other operating system will not be easy for everyone that you have to keep in mind. People who are using Windows from a long time or are not that tech savvy, then they will be having a hard time switching from Windows to any other operating system. But yes, if you are that tech savvy, you can really manage and you know Linux very well, then you can go ahead and switch to Linux operating system. All right, so that's all guys for today. And now hopefully you know what you need to do. And still, if you have any doubt, or if I have missed anything, then please let me know in the comment section. I will surely reply you back. And do not forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.